Happy Easter! It's Mark Smith here from Business Asset Protection, uh, a division of DC Partner Solutions. Um, well, we're continuing uh, part two of our series on the part two of our series on section 40 of the Bankruptcy Act, and uh, it's only a small section, but wow, isn't it uh, incredible? So we're going to have a, a look now at section 40 in brackets one, in brackets A, and maybe we'll get to B as well. So sit back and enjoy. Okay, well now we're looking at uh, section 40 uh, in brackets one in brackets A, and we probably should have a look at B as well here because uh, this is probably not going to take a huge amount of time, but these are acts of bankruptcy which the court can take into consideration. Uh, this, these fit within uh, the Bankruptcy Act, acts of bankruptcy, proceedings in connection with bankruptcy. So uh, when there are proceedings, or if there are proceedings, uh, a court can take these things into consideration as proof of your bankruptcy. Um, and let's probably, we should just actually have a look at the word bankruptcy and just see what it actually means. Um, so this is a little bit of uh, interpretation of acts. So uh, let's have a quick look at the word bankruptcy. Bankrupt in relation to uh, jurisdictional proceedings means a jurisdictional proceedings by virtue of this act. Bankrupt means a person against whose estate a sequestration order has been made or uh, who has become bankrupt by virtue of them presenting their own debtor's petition. So a bankrupt is a person uh, whose estate is under administration, basically. So that's um, that's a very key concept. Um, let's now have a look at a debtor commits an act of bankruptcy uh, in each of the following cases. And uh, there's quite a few here, so we're not going to go through them all today. But uh, let's have a look at section uh, 41 a, and we'll see how we go. So it's um, uh, in in Australia or elsewhere. So you could be uh, in Fiji, for instance, and you make a uh, conveyance. In other words, that means you transfer, you give away, you move, uh, you convey something. So you convey or assign his or her property. Um, so that could be shares. That could be. Um, it doesn't mean securing, giving away security. So in other words, uh, mortgaging them. It means conveying or uh, parting with. Um, so losing control of. Uh, and again, this wouldn't be a um, one where a secure when a yeah where a secured party sells or conveys. It's where um, his or her property is conveyed. Uh, I think the assumption here is is conveyed by him or her um, for the benefit of his or her creditors generally. So when a person's personal assets are conveyed or assigned uh, for the benefit of his or her creditors generally, uh, well that would be indicative of your bankruptcy. So um, so there's clearly exceptions to this. Um, it, it suggests if it's for the benefit of his or her uh, creditors. Well, if you were to transfer your uh, assets not for the benefit of his or her creditors, but you transfer them or assign them nevertheless, that might be captured under a different section. But this is ones where you're um, disposing of your assets for the benefit of your creditors. That's indicative and the court can take that into consideration. And later on, we're going to go and have a look at sections 120 to 122. Uh, these are voidable transactions. So let's say um, you give away your assets, but not for the benefit of uh, your creditors. Let's say you gave them away to your children. Well, we're going to have a look at really this next section uh, we won't do it today in this particular video, but it's where you give away uh, your, where you make a conveyance uh, that would be void if he or she became bankrupt, would be void. So this is another way that uh, uh, there are many, many ways. So we'll just stick with that. This is a very simple concept. It's uh, in Australia or elsewhere. So it doesn't matter if you go to China, you go to Russia, you go to the other, you go to the moon. It could be elsewhere other than in Australia or in Australia. Uh, he or she makes a conveyance of or assignment. This is a technical area. Uh, if you want to talk about this uh, with anyone, uh, if you've got assets, well, let's say you've got a creditor and they have conveyed or assigned um, their assets for the benefit of some other creditor, but not you. That still may be something you can do. Uh, so we can talk to you about that. one 327 123 or uh, bottom corner here, use the instant chat tools on our website, dcpartners.solutions. Uh, and you can chat with us uh, about that particular situation. You could certainly, using the instant uh, chat tools, send us some documents. Uh, we've got forms down the bottom of this particular blog. There's a form that allows you to upload some documents. So if you're in that position where someone has uh, conveyed or assigned their assets, uh, for the benefit of some other creditor other than you. Um, again, there's exceptions, so secured creditors, but if they give it away for unsecured creditors, or maybe they uh, you know, try and hide their assets and give them to their children or something like that, act of bankruptcy, able to be unwound, very cool. Okay, got any questions? Give us a call, 327-123. Uh, uh, use the instant chat tools on our website, dcpartners.solutions. Thank you very much, talk soon.